Hi guys, um, this video will cover ACT test 24 F section. So let's do it. Value of this MP is four times six. Oops. Uh, 36 minus NM is minus 20, so 56. Equal A, average 19, 19 miles per gallon. And then B is 37 MP, MPG. How many more gallons of gasoline does A need than make this much a trip? So then get to divide, uh, let me pull out my calculator. So, Okay, cross multiplication, 9x equals y, and the second one is 8y equals 9z, and the third one is what? So z and x. So in terms of, I mean, uh, you can change this one in terms of x, so x equals 1, 9, y, in terms of, uh, I mean, in terms of y for z equals uh, 8 over 9 y, right? So you put this one into bottom and put this one in top. So 8 over 9 y over 1 over 9 y. Y, y goes away, this, this goes away, 8. Number four, x is, you distribute this 12, oh, 12x minus 84 equals minus 11. 12x equals 73. X has to be 73 over 12. The legs of right triangle measured 18, 24. Right triangle. What is the length of meter? It's hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 18 square plus 24 squared. So 18 squared. School cafeteria students choose their lunch from four sandwiches. Is this this? How many different? Exact one. So four sandwich, you can choose one. Out of four, you choose one. Out of two soup, you can choose one. Out of two salad, you can choose one. Out of two drinks, you can choose one. So one ninth of this one is this. So 6,000 times point 63 times one ninth. That's what you can put. And so, Electronics company builds two products, DVD player and VCR employees. Company can build a maximum of 150 player per week and a maximum of 20. No more than 250 products can be built per week. Following inequality, the D represent number of DVD and D represents which one number of per week. So it says total together, you cannot build more than 250. So less than 250 is K. Okay. Number nine, figure this 50, 60, and then measure BAC is 90. 
So from the BAC, since it is 90 and 65, we can say this is 25. And then between 25 and 50, you added up 75, 180 minus 75, which is 105. Following equations, let's distribute this. So 2x squared minus 14x, 3 plus 3x minus 21. So this one is minus 11. So G. A curve for sugar, then treat each cake. Require one half cup of sugar, which following largest number of whole cake issues sugar country so that four to third cup is basically what um well, 14 over three and then divide by one half so how many you can make is um basically 28 over 3 so it's 9 9 point something 9.3 so it's 9 okay minus 5 you put it in so squared is positive so 6 times 25 minus 4 times 5 uh, 5 is minus 11 this is 150 130 one 119, so J, equivalent to this one. You're just like, you know, factor out minus X or X, minus X will be better, so it's A. The student body, this one consists of sophomore, junior, senior only, and ratio of sophomore, junior, high school student is this one. And there are 15 students, so 15 juniors. So how many on this one? So it says um, sophomore, junior, and senior is two to three to four. And then junior is, this is 15. That means you multiply by what, five, right? To get 15. That means um, everything, same ratio that you have to multiply by five. Um, how many students on the entire this? So multiply by five is 10. 20 and 15. So you add it up, um, it's 45. The second term of arithmetic sequence is negative 14 and the third one. So we don't know A1, but we know minus 14 and then minus 34. And it says arithmetic sequence. Arith arithmetic means plus or minus, right? So this is minus 20, then this one has to be minus 20, but going backwards, so plus 20 which is six. Last year, Tom earned salary of five, uh, S dollars. He total D deducted from which a total of D was deducted from tax. So D uh, minus tax was S dollars, right? And, uh, and tax and insurance. And then the balance, T, the Tom take home pay. Tom take home pay represents fraction of annual salary. So annual salary is, entire salary is S, right? Hold on a second, S. From which, oh yeah, I'm not like confused here. So Tom is getting S is the salary. And then after total of D was deducted. So D was deducted. So this is tax and insurance. D is, yeah. And this is how much he actually getting home, right? Bring home. So S minus D has to be right here. Okay. Out of the entire thing is S. 17 Mara timer for road race. 200 feet from the starting gun and then the second. So distance 200 feet. And then this is gun. And then speed is this much. So 
sound which the violin closes. How many seconds after starting gun is, was fired? Here the one. So um, the speed, I mean, the speed R equals D over T. But then uh, R we know um, 1120 and then D is 200 and T we don't know. So we just swap this part together. So T has to be 200 divided by 1120, which is around point, I'll say point six point, I don't know, point two, point two something, point one something, and probably point two. Let me just put in the calculator. 200 over. Round up point two. 18. Divide by six y equals three x plus one. So slope is three. And then next one nineteen. Look, okay, there is rounding there. Uh, this adults are this much. Child with this group of eight people is round. So eight. So adults plus children is eight. So six point nine five eight plus. Uh, okay, three point nine five children paid total forty six sixty. Excluding tax and tips. Okay, then you can just like calculate this with um, C equals 8 minus A. How many adults in the group? So C equals 8 minus A plug in to here. So then, um, a lot of work to do here. 695A plus. Uh, So this one describes your wall. So this is starting point, and the slope is the because like mile per hour is the speed. So rise over run, rise is six and run is two. So speed is three. Um, no. Okay, K is the answer. Triangle, this cosine Z is this one. So Z from the Z, co means, so uh, cosine is ka, adjacent. So from here, adjacent is four. Hypotenuse is seven. And then let's say this is x. x squared plus four squared equals seven squared. So x squared is 49 minus 16, 33. So then x is red 33 is x. Then it says cosine x. So cosine x is ka adjacent is x is so red 33 over hypotenuse seven. So we use the answer for this one. Run this one. Outside, like parentheses, you multiply them. So minus 15 of this. Okay. The ratio of side 
right? Two smaller triangle is five to three to five. Smaller triangle has side that is major five seven nine. So five seven nine, and the largest one, lar a larger triangle, premier of this one. So if you add it up, that's going to be premier of smaller one, right? So twelve twenty one, and then. And then three to five. Three to five is twenty-one to x because this is a larger one. Cross multiplying. Run. Rise is from four to five is one. Run is six to minus four minus ten. So uh, twenty-five inches. What is the area of P C C? So base times height divided by two. Base is this. Height is this. One half times eight times four is sixteen. Ten by fifteen margin. One of quarter flower is greater than fifteen. So one foot quarter. And now eight and thirteen left. Section. This is the best of eleven foot long. So eleven of them. Minimum number of feet pens that would ten feet wide or three feet wide open. So ten plus ten plus fifteen plus fifteen, which is that's like fifty, but then opening is three, so four is seven. Area of square feet, rectangular plot. Ten times fifteen, which is simple. Simple center adjacent rows at least ten inches apart, and then outcome rows at least ten inches from the inner edge of the flower. Okay, so we have eight eight feet left, right? Because inside here is eight feet. Eight feet is inches wise. Um, Eight times twelve ninety six inches left. So from the outside, ten inches. So we take out ten inches and ten inches out. So then twenty inches out, seventy six inches left. And then first one you can put here, and second one, so which is, you can, you can, from the first one, you can draw seven more, right? So one, two, three, so the whole total of eight you have. Because you have only 76 left. From the first one, you have 76 left. 76 left. That means you can have 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 70. So including this one, it has eight. Okay. Absolute value. To take out absolute value, it becomes plus and minus, right? So x, x plus nine becomes plus minus 19. If it is plus, it becomes 10. If it is minus, it becomes 28, minus 28, so which is eight. This M is midpoint of T W. Okay, T W. W is three comma one. So this is W three comma one, and M is nine and minus eight. This is M 
mine and mine C. And that the other ones should be way down there so that how much it actually moved down and uh, moved down is minus nine, right? Then we have to go with minus nine again. So minus 17 should be the Y value. And then also it goes six, it adds six more. 31 circumference of circle is this much. So two pi r is 96 pi, pi pi goes away. R has to be 48. Rectangular table top, 14 inches wide and 48 inches. Closest to length and it's diagonal of this tool. Diagonal is just the Pythagorean theorem. So um, square root of 48 squared plus 14 squared. So calculator. Translation rectangle ABCD, second rectangle, this one. So A prime is 4, comma 12, negative 12. So this is A prime. And B is this C is 10 minus 7. C is 10 minus 7. C prime. And then B is 10 minus 12. So this is B. So then we can find this way to go. Okay, from, so the distance between A and B is equal to C and B as well. So um, X, X value, um, A and B, the difference between A and B is six, right? So from the C, it's minus six, which is four. And then we want to keep the same Y value of C, which is minus seven, that's why it's C. This was n. So plug in. Um, I mean, you can just rewrite it as x plus 2, x minus 4, and then boil it x squared minus 2, x minus 8. So minus 2 is one thing. Otherwise, you can plug in negative 2, and then you can get x, get whatever. Okay, so which of the following is closest percent decrease from the August 24 value September 30th? Closing is um, from 8600 to 7630. So the difference is 970. Right? So 970 out of um, 8600. So change divided by original. Okay? Point three. The chart shows four more, four more decline and advance. All of the following statements are true. Which one best explains why decline from August twenty-four closing value to September closing value are relatively large?
August 24 to Weather Book in March. Um, the greatest change chart is to find. Greatest challenge change is which one best explains why the decline from August 24th closing value to is relatively large. So F, we don't know. This has nothing to do with the question itself. And G, the least change was also this is not relevant. Because the question is asking, you know, why the decline from this um, uh, is relatively large. So this is K. So average out, if you average out, what decline is um, greater than the other events. That's what it meant. Uh, five days period, September through this average closing value. So September 13 to September 13 to 17 here. Let's so add it up to by five, five, I guess. Which is the following post is height. So, um, Soka Toa, if you use this one, this is Toa. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, x over 75 is tangent 37. Tangent 37 is this much. So, x has to be 75 times 0.74. So let me just do this. Premier is 39. So Premier is 39 means uh, you take out the uh, 8 and then 5 out. So 39 minus 8 minus 5, which is 26. So adding this 2 is 26. Let's say this is x. This is 26 minus x. Right? And what is the area of this one? Uh, this is, um, area is just space times height, right? Space times height, and then 26, uh, I can't think right now, somehow, 26, same, 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 26 is, Oh yeah, we can use them. No, forget about this. If you think about the trapezoid uh, formula, this is let's say A and B in height. The formula for area is one half A plus B times H. So you 
using this one too. You're adding this A, A, D, and B, C is 26. So one half times 26 times height is five. So 13 times five, which is 65. So see, question number 40. This is, I don't know how many times every distance Earth to moon, which is this one. So basically 9.3 times 10 to the seventh divided by 2.4 times 10 to the fifth. First of all, 10 to the fifth, uh, this, this is like goes away. You have two left now and then nine, so I simply put, you know, it's going to be this F, this 9 divided by 2.4 is like almost 4. And then it says, uh, following operation will put up to the largest results of this line can be the largest one. Mm, yeah, you can minus it. Minus, minus, that means plus. So it's going to be largest. And then this one, seven minus six. So basically you're doing this one, right? So then center is seven and six, seven and negative six, which is either this two and then square of that. So say x, y, y, x, c, and the measure of y is 22. Where is, where is the measure of x? So triangle X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y is equal to X, Z. So then measure of this one is 22. Oops. I mean, this is also 22 as well. So it's 44, 44, 180 minus 44, 136 is this one. So it's okay. And then order the volume cubic centimeter of the cubic if one square base is this much. What is the volume of cubic? Area of one square base is. So 144 is um, 12 squared. That means each edge is 12 right now. So 12, 12, 12 is basically what they're asking. Number random from the set of this one, probability that chosen number is factor of 12. Factor of 12. So factor of 12 is one. Oops. One, two, three, four, six, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, six out of 12, which is one half. Chamo invest $1,000 January 1st at the end of nine months during the which time Chamo made no withdrawal and no deposit investment earned interest. Chamo invest returned annual percentage yield with this one. So we use IPRT. I equals P is in, uh, 1,000. And then R, we don't know. T is time, right? But then it's year, but then nine months, nine months over 12. I is 75. So you're getting, this one is three over four. 250, 750 R equals 75, 10%. What value of this one? You plug three first, which is two, three squared plus three, nine, 18, and 21. And then you plug 21 again. So two, 21 squared plus 21. I don't know, 21 squared.
So if you prime vector does it to a twenty seven three nine three three. So we can rewrite this one as now something squared is only three and three. So X has to be six and Y has to be three. What is it in your variable? Y such that. Yeah, but then y can be plus minus three because since they're squared, you can use both plus and minus. 49, each quadrant was 12 long. Well, it must be true. Square. Always square? I don't think so. It has to be 90 degree angle is not guaranteed. So it's not must be, it could be. Rhombus, yes. Says just equals to length. Rectangle, no. Parallelogram, it's so only like, you know, parallel sides, so it's two and four, it's just deep. Yeah, because uh, rectangle and square is could be, not like must be. Okay. So it says this is y, y intercept. We can eliminate everything else but this two, h and j. And the rise will run. Rise is minus two and then minus two. Run is two, it's minus one, so j. Negative one, each number on a list contain 100 number is divided by 10 to product Second list contains 100 numbers. Each of 100 number on the second list decreased by. So it was, um, let's say the first one going to second one is divided by 10, second one, and second one, and then third one going minus two divided by the other list. The median of third list is x. So median is x, which of the following expression given median of original list. So going back to this, you have to add two. So x plus two will be median of this one, multiplied by two, 10. So 10 x plus two will be this one. So a negative value, always negative value. So the x, um, from this one, the root is minus four and three. So X is between negative four and three. So you plug anything, uh, this one, with minus five. If you do minus five on both sides, minus five, minus nine, minus two, oh, this is bingo. Minus two, this is positive, plus four, no, it doesn't work. This one, um, If you have this, this has come out as x is greater than a, x is less than negative a. So having said that, you know, whatever that is, x plus y is greater than one or x plus y is less than negative one. From here, y is greater than x plus one. This one, y is less than negative x minus one. So which means Negative one plus one is this one, and the y is greater on this side. And second one minus one minus two is here, and then less than is this one. Oops. If you don't know how to do this one, then you can just plug numbers. So anything that you know works, let's say. Uh, one, two, X is one and Y is two greater than one. So one comma two, yeah, it makes sense somewhere. So that's why it doesn't work for this one. Okay, so we can eliminate A and E if you put one and two. Then put negative one and two, let's say negative one, negative two, this one doesn't work. And then in the middle, so zero comma zero doesn't work. That's why E doesn't work either. So that's another way to do it. 
and 54 um, x4 sine this one equivalent to which of the following. Um, if you want to use this um, note right here, that's great. If not, then you just plug numbers. Like instead of x, you're putting one, one. So you put four sine one cosine one, and you compare all these things. Um, that's the easiest way to do. But then if you know double angle formula, this is um, sort of double angle formula. Sine. Uh, Without this, if, even though you, you don't know the formula, then you can just plug one and one and then compare these. So it's 55, okay, 440. So this is 40, 90, so this is 50, and then that is also 50. Because 50, uh, 125, 180 minus 125, this is 55. That means this is 55 as well. And if you think about uh, this one, from inside of zero to infinity, this is like seventy. Uh, and this one is one hundred. That means this one has to be one. That means this one is now one ten plus forty. Oh no, one ten. This is seventy now. So this is seventy. So seventy forty is one ten. So inside of this one is now uh, another seventy two. So see. So 70, which is equal to this two. And 56 is following graph solution set of this one. Um, as I said earlier, I always use this one. X is A, X is less than negative. So same thing, minus C, two. X minus C is greater than equal to two. X minus C is less than negative two. So x has to be greater, c plus 2, x has to be less than, equal to c minus 2. Greater than c plus 2, okay, so this one. Dividing to 2 congruent, a equals this. Plus 2. So it's going to go through like something like this line, right? And then it went through this point as well. Probably that's that works. Oops. Like something like this is the one. Since it is over two, then below two has to be. So whatever line that has to go through. And so zero comma two and then six comma five has to go through. And rise over run, rise is three over one is six, one half. Okay. Hold on a second, rise. Oh, 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 I got tricked. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
So it says two, but then this is like from the center is two, from the one comma, uh, zero comma one is one. So this is not, this is six comma, oh, this is one. So then rise is, Rise is four, which is two over three. Is eight. Okay, so again, this distance between these two is one. Then we have to find another one is to divide, divide this line. Okay, 58, log this following expression equal to 10. So 10 is basically two times five is 10, right? So we can make something out of that. So first of all, log base three, two equals P. How can we write it as um, um, the two equals, which is three base goes to base, P equals two. Same thing with uh, the other one, five equals three, Q is five, basically. So you multiply this two, which is three to the, yeah. Uh, okay, this is the end. If you don't know what to do with this one, you have calculator, so you can put the log three, two, and then this, this, and then you get the P and Q, and then you also plug in P and Q number, and then if it is 10, then that, that becomes answer. If you don't know how to use a graphic calculator for a log, you go to like math, and then you, like, you know, scroll down a little bit, you go down, there's log base, then you can use that log. And then what you're following range of this function, range range is y value. So the amplitude is cosine amplitude going up to three and down to negative three. Three to negative three and going up again. So, but then the problem is plus one so that there was four and negative two. Negative four, negative two is so d. The nearest percent total surface area of solid on the right is, right is the left one. Okay. Surface area, um, each unit is one. Let's say outside face is four, um, and then back is also four, front and back. And left side is two, right side is two. And top is two, and the bottom is two. So four, four. So this is sixteen. The left one, um, front is four, back is four, left is two, right is two, top is three, bottom is three. Yeah. So this is twelve, and then. Two more. Total surface area of solid on the right is what percent less than? Okay, right one is minus two. Let's write over the whatever. 18. This entire thing is 18. 12 or 18. 11%. Okay, that's it for this math section. Uh, I'll come back with uh, reading section and science section as well. We'll see you soon. Bye.